right, so we're checking out this um, conversion I did with the uh, Crafted Quads Odonata HD frame. So there's a few variants of this frame. You can go check out the website and see which one is the best for you. Uh, this is obviously the HD version with two inch props. They have a non HD or analog version. I think it's for 1.6 inch props. And a few other like different versions in between, like an ironclad. Honestly, I don't know exactly what all the differences are between the different versions so you'll have to ask them as to what why there's different versions or what the reasons are for those um, let's talk about this one in this video so this is the hd version two inch props uh, you got a two millimeter bottom plate it's a single piece and you can mount um, four screw hole motors or three screw hole motors so there's a, the three here uh, for these motors i'll talk about the motors here in a second so it'll take multiple types of motors uh, so it's a single bottom plate here, and you can see the uh, micro USB port coming out of the bottom here. So 25 by 25 uh, mounted um, flight controller boards, so typically an all-in-one, and it's two millimeters, two millimeters thick. And then the top plate is one and a half millimeters thick, and you have some M2 standoffs here, three of them. So obviously there's a lot of different ways you can put this together. Uh, I chose to go with the conversion route and I took, um, well this was, the parts of this were originally in the Flywoo uh, Baby Nano 20. So that one has, um, has one of the first 2 inch uh, 2S micros that came out a while back. I don't remember exactly, it's been a while. And there's been some other ones that come out since then, like the HGLRC Drac Knight, uh, and also the YMZ Lightning. I'll list those videos all down in the video description if you guys kind of want to compare how those fly to this one. Those, are, except for the um, the Baby Nana, which of course was walks down, which is what this is, uh, the other ones were analog. And so my goal for this conversion was to uh, keep about the same weight. So Previously, this one um, in the Flywoo Baby Nano 20 version, it was coming in at like 43.6 grams um, be, you know, before battery, of course. And I think now this one's like around 44 or something. I'll show you the weight here in a second. And I just wanted to see how this would fly compared to that one because that was a bottom mounted battery uh, setup. This is a, I, I made this a top mounted battery setup here for this one. And honestly not a whole lot of difference uh so you're not landing on the battery when you when you when you're done with your flight uh, it feels a little bit um more stable in the air but of course i have completely redone the tune on this one here so uh before this was came out like a, more than a year ago it came with an older version of beta flight i had to rotate the flight controller board because it was at a the offset by 90 degrees on that setup and so I redid everything. So it's got a brand new tune on it. So I'm not sure if it's because I, I retuned it a little bit differently than the factory tune from the way the Baby Nano 20 originally came. So honestly, too many things have changed. So it's not, it's really hard to say like, oh, this is much better or much worse than it was before. It just feels a little bit different. And um, honestly, I don't really know if it's that much better that the battery's on top. The other thing I wanted to do is try and get the props out of the view of the um, camera obviously with the uh, the baby nano 20 with the camera in the middle and the top there with that canopy uh props are very visible in, in the uh, frame of view and this one here sadly it is still in the frame of view because this camera is a very very wide angled camera so you can crop in a little bit and then we'll cut out the edge because it's on the, it's on the very far right and left to get the prop out of view which also gets rid of the um the most distorted part of the image because this field of view is so wide that the very edges of the field of view are kind of distorted anyway. So you can just crop in and get rid of that. And also, it happens that this flight controller from Flywoo, this 2S, uh, 1-2S flight controller, has black box uh, uh, on there. So I was able to stabilize some of this footage uh, using Gyroflow from the black box data. That isn't the most reliable uh, method of stabilizing your footage, but if you can, you know, this obviously this Waxnail VTX here um, has eight gigabytes of storage on there. You, you can get the, you know, 1080p footage off of there and stabilize in Jarflow. And you can see here the results are okay. You know, um, it does require quite a bit of like a lot of auto sync settings and stuff like that. Uh, not a lot of people do black box Jarflow stabilization anyway, but if you want to, you can. 
All right, so this is how much it weighs. And we're coming in at 44.5 grams. So it's a li little bit heavier than the, uh, when it was uh, the Flywoo B BB Narrow 20. Um, the things that, I, I did cut off some things here. So the frame overall is gonna be heavier. Uh, but I did cut off a few things here. I'll show you that here. I'll explain in a second. Uh, but with the battery flew with, this is a 2S420. We're coming in at 66 grams. So for those of you that want to be under 100 grams, this is the way to do it. So as I mentioned, the bottom plate here is 2 millimeters on the on Odonata. The uh, Baby Nano 20 frame was a 1.5 millimeter bottom plate. So it's a little bit thicker. So the screws that go into the motor are a little bit shorter coming out of the, the bottom plate. So they will all screw in fine and nice and tight, but just because there's a little bit less threading on the motor for each of these screws, for th you know, three for each motor, you probably want to check that the screws are tight after each flight because there's less thread uh, going into each motor. So that's something to be aware of. Now in order to get the weight kind of similar in the same range, I got rid of the uh, T antenna for the Express LRS receiver. So this flight controller has a built-in Express LRS receiver that came with a T antenna, which is a little bit heavier, and I put a standard whip antenna that comes out of the back like this. Yeah, that's fine for short range. I'm not really flying far away with this one here. It's a micro with this 420. You get about uh, three and a half to four minutes of so pretty aggressive flying around. And then uh, I got the same uh, whip antenna here uh, on the back. And it's, I'm, I am using the uh, TPU part here to hold this antenna and also a zip tie holding the XD30 to that TPU part here in the back that came with the frame. I had to use my, I had to create my own camera mount here for this camera because the ones that came with the um, frame kit um, forced the camera into the back of this VTX. Now this one here is an old VTX. This is the um, uh, Waxnell, the 1S Lite uh, version 1 VTX, which is a little bit bigger. So you can see how it, here's a screw hole here and it's kind of, the PCB kind of sticks out a little bit. The, the newer versions, like the, the, the version 3 now, the, the 1S Lite, the board is actually closer to the screw. So the overall board is smaller. And um, you probably want to get the version with the, the camera with the screw holes. If you get the camera without the screw holes, then you have to create a different mount to mount it to this frame. Um, but with the smaller, newer VTXs, you won't have that problem with the back of the camera is hitting that board, so I had to create my own mount. And you can see here, even now, it is almost touching the board anyway. So, you know, you might have to even take off this plastic cover that holds the cable in place. You could um, also lose a little bit of weight there by removing that back plate if you don't really care to have that on there. Yeah, but overall, I think uh, this is a nice little frame for those of you that want to do like a 2S, 2-inch setup here. You know, obviously with one of these kind of motors, like a 1002 or 1003 motor, somewhere in the 10,000 to 15,000 kV range, with this gym fan tri-blade two inch prop you're going to get obviously a wide range of performance based on the type of motor you have and the kv but generally on this two inch 2s setup these are a lot of fun you can fly them at the park uh people don't care they can't hear it uh they can't even see it um yeah you can pretty much rip it around anywhere and not really care about attracting attention because uh, it is a basically pretty silent but very fun thing to fly um, and you can, you know, I wouldn't necessarily recommend flying it around people necessarily, but you can fly near people and not attract attention if that's what your ultimate goal is. And this is a nice little setup here, one that I, I think I'll be keeping this one around for a while. So you'll probably see some updates down the road. If you're curious, let me know down in the comments below and I'll maybe do an update video in a few months or so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. That'll do it for this one. I'll talk to you guys in the next video.